Good evening and welcome to this edition of SAC News. I'm Alex Ballinas. And I'm George Michaelis. Today we'll cover the SAC Art Gallery and where to see it, the service provided by the Veterans Resource Center. And the blood drive in honor of Cesar Chavez from the Santa Ana Zoo's 70th anniversary. The first student photography is going on display in downtown Santa Ana. The exhibit featuring the student work will be on display in the SAC Arts Gallery, the gallery at the Centaur Building, and will be open during Art Walk which is the first Saturday of the month. You can see the exhibit April 2nd to June 4th between 6.30 and 9 p.m. Entries free and open to the public. And this weekend, the Santa Ana Theater Department is showing their newest play, Anna in the Tropics. Showings are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 7 to 9 p.m. The play will be hosted in John Phillips Hall Theater. And to order tickets, visit through the website and link below right there. Our next story is about the Veterans Resource Center at Santa Ana College that wants to raise awareness of all the services they offer vets. At a recent brainstorm meeting, they talked about community service events and other ideas to let students know about veteran services on campus. The group meets every other week to discuss events, fundraisers, and other ways to raise awareness about the Veterans Center. The center offers educational seminars to let vets know about the benefits available to them at SAC. The benefits include help with turning in applications for VA educational benefits, meeting with a strength and support representative, and meeting with an academic counselor. The Art and Culture Commission is looking for volunteers to serve on the advisory board. The commission is seeking a person to organize local art and cultural events, an advocate for art, education, and cultural diversity, while encouraging other initiatives that further the development of sustainability within the local art community. For more information on the application process can be found at SantaAnna.org. We'll be right back after the break. My name is Kevin. I'm a military veteran returning to school and I'm a student at Santa Ana College. I went to an art school in Los Angeles for two years. I realized things were getting pricey and expensive. Um, you know, I was tired of hearing my parents talk about the financial issues we have. Um, at the same time, I also had a desire ever since I was a little kid to join the military. So I enlisted in the United States Air Force for four and a half years and uh, immediately at the same time I got out of the military, I got hired at Disney. I chose online classes because I'm able to have time management with my priorities outside of school and also with the school. I'm able to control my life. My advice for a student thinking about taking online classes is you gotta be on top of your game. You have to make sure you have time to do your online classes. It might be easy to forget that you have homework due and quizzes to take. So you just definitely gotta be on top of it. I would say online classes are just the same type of difficulty as face-to-face -face class. Do the coursework, read the chapters, take the quiz. Um, you still have deadlines just like actual classes. It's been a year and um, I'm able to speed up the process where I'm going to be getting my associate's degree this December and will be transferring for spring. So online classes definitely helps me um, reach my end goal faster. Welcome back Dons, our next story. Santiago Con College held a successful blood drive in honor of Cesar Chavez Day. Students were asked to make an appointment ahead of time and many showed up to participate afterwards. Donors rested and recovered in a tent where two guests gave speeches. The speakers were Andres Chavez, Cesar Chavez's grandson, and the Mexican-American journalist Gustavo Ariano. There was food for students as well as merchandise for them to take home. At this event, students were able to give back to their community and learn more about Cesar Chavez's contribution to farm work. And a ban on flavored tobacco sales went into effect this month in Santa Ana. A representative at one local tobacco shop told us, they know it's for the greater good, however it was unfair that other cities do not have to comply. They see the ban as ineffective since the customers can go, buy, go to nearby cities to buy flavored tobacco. The representative told us this will just hurt their sales and not have any real impact on curbing tobacco use. We covered a program at the Santa Ana Library that is putting tweens in charge. This 
This path leads to a twin takeover area for students 4th to 12th grade. The daily program allows student drop off after school where they can meet with tutors for help with homework. Other activities include Lego building, board games, DIY projects, video games, along with singing and playing instruments. There is a list of other events the program hosts as well. For more information, you can contact the library, 714-647-5250. And for our final story, we celebrate Santa Ana Zoo's anniversary. The state of California celebrated Santa Ana Zoo's 70th anniversary with a $2 million gift to build an educational building. The goal of the building will be to increase outreach to the youth through internships, volunteering, or helping out at the Frog Pod, where they can raise en endangered frog species for release back in the wild. That's it for this edition of SAC News. Be sure to follow us on social media and watch previous episodes of SAC News on our YouTube channel.